minutes while others play or sleep. How many night people are there? What industries must operate around the clock? Industry on Parade. Peabody Award winner for public service, produced on film each week by the National Association of Manufacturers. Night falls across the land, and millions of Americans settle down, as this one does, for an evening of relaxation. One of the great benefits our people derive from the high productive capacity of our free industrial economy is ample leisure and plentiful opportunities to enjoy it. Television is only one of the many free time pleasures available. But for other Americans, nighttime is work time. Industry on Parade takes you behind the scenes into the night working world to show what others are doing to keep the economic wheels turning while you rest. People of the entertainment industry, for example, do much of their work at night, staging the shows which bring all of us so much pleasure. Night also brings peak activity to thousands of restaurants, prepared to serve anything from a malt to a meal, regardless of the hour. It's late, but the resources of the food industry are as ready at 9 p.m. as they are at noon, service which we take for granted nowadays but which in the not-too-distant past was available only to the wealthy. Also in the ranks of the industries that never sleep are hotels, which must be staffed around the clock. Under the watchful eye of the night manager, service will be as prompt at midnight as it was at noon. This is the time when hotels also do a lot of catching up behind the scenes, where miniature armies get things ready for another day, even while serving those who are already safely lodged for the night within their walls. In many newspaper plants, it's not till 10.30 or 11 p.m. that activity reaches a peak. For newspapers delivered in the morning, this is the time when reporters, editors, and printers are wide awake and busiest, so that the paper itself can be put to bed, as they call it in the trade. Along with the radio and TV workers whose business also is news, the craftsmen who work with the printed word are busy through the hours of darkness preparing the latest accounts of what happens while others sleep. Likewise processed at night for morning delivery, much of the nation's milk supply. One more of the many industries that operate after sundown to enable every American family to enjoy the benefits and conveniences our free economy provides so abundantly. There are grandparents living now who can recall the day most business enterprise had to stop at night when darkness made operations like this impossible. That's the way things were until industry made Edison's electric light a practical reality everywhere and in the process virtually doubled man's supply of his most valuable commodity, time. Without artificial light, the tremendous quantity and variety of fresh bakery goods that greet us every morning would be severely limited. Without light, America's record-breaking production levels in many fields would be impossible. So important have nighttime operations become that 16% of the nation's workers now perform their jobs between the hours of 9 p.m. and 6 in the morning, according to the most recent figures from the census. That's a statistic that represents some 10 million jobs, jobs that would not exist except for the constant urge of American business and industry to find ways to make life better, richer, and more convenient for the more than 175 million people they serve. It's during the night, too, that many of the most essential community services are performed, including the transportation and distribution of perishable meats, fruits, and vegetables. From farms and packing plants, produce is on the move, no matter how late the hour, heading for big distribution centers like this one. There is
is never a moment during the night when great quantities of produce are not en route, being loaded, unloaded, and loaded again till they reach the neighborhood store still in peak condition. From the trains that operate throughout the night, the food is moved to big vans that also keep rolling around the clock. And one result of all this activity is a marked improvement in America's diet over the years, giving us better food at lower cost, helping make us today the best fed people in the world. The efficiency of America's industrial production is materially improved by transportation that moves after sundown. cargo, but passengers too get a head start on tomorrow because our transportation industries have learned to operate as safely by night as they do by day. All that we have seen and more has been going on while our daytime worker has been enjoying his evening of TV at home. Now he heads for bed, but as he does, others are just getting started. About the time most of us are turning in for the night, Americans who have slept during the daylight hours are starting off to join the third shift, which keeps the lights of industry burning. Past midnight, in factories and office buildings, you'll find the cleaning force at work, washing, scrubbing, putting things in order for the day ahead. To those arriving in the morning, it will seem to have been done by magic. Also behind the lighted windows, you're sure to find the night watchman on his ceaseless patrol of temporarily deserted space. Because fires can burn and criminals work at night, the watchman also must work. This is a good time for getting things done without getting in the way. And that's why major business moving often takes place after dark, after the day workers have emptied their downtown offices. When those workers arrive at this new address in the morning, they'll be able to carry on without a pause, finding their desks, their typewriters and files in different surroundings, but in the same good order in which they were left last evening a few blocks or many miles away. The night movers have been known to complete the transfer of all the office equipment owned by the largest of firms between dusk and dawn without misplacing as much as a paperclip. The equipment and employees of the communications industry, steadily busy through the night, maintain constant contact with other parts of the world where the sun may be shining brightly. And through these lines also flow the emergency calls that summon instant aid. Should medical attention be called for, it too is constantly standing by, regardless of the hour. Wherever there's a hospital, a doctor, a nurse, you'll find work going on at night, for the medical profession is always on call. Often we take these things for granted, those of us who sleep through the night. We hardly ever give a thought to the emergency care, the essential service which stands ready around the clock. Hardly ever that is until we need it. No matter when that is, no matter what the time, the hospital is prepared. Today's Good Samaritans work at night, and so does the industry that supplies the pharmaceutical products they administer. Why does the manufacture of so many medicines and drugs involve nighttime production? The reason is that they often are turned out in continuous processes, on processes that never stop. And always, of course, the pharmaceutical plants must be kept spotlessly clean so that unwanted bacteria may never gain an entrance. What's being prepared here is a solution that will be used for intravenous feeding, such as we saw earlier at the hospital. 
a solution that will be fed directly into the bloodstream. It must be entirely free of dead bacteria as well as live ones, free of any element, no matter how tiny, that might cause fever or infection. Thus, every bottle goes to an autoclave for sterilization, though each has been cleaned and rinsed no less than eight times in filtered distilled water. Ready for safe use any time. One of the many products manufactured by industries that have to keep going all the time. Among these industries of the night is steel, of course. That's because you can't just turn on and off at will the big furnaces in which this basic metal is produced. When it is necessary to shut one down, it takes skillful work and days of time so that cooling won't damage the expensive equipment. And then more long hours are needed to get back into operation. Obviously then, the only economical way to make steel is to make it continuously around the clock. And that's just the way it is made, by an industry that's among the most spectacular, especially at night. Here's another industry that necessarily works continuously, petroleum refining. And still another, of course, is the generation of electric power the industry that lights the way through the night for all the others. From power plants like this flows the electricity that first made it possible for man to coax new prosperity from the hours of darkness that had lain fallow through the centuries. And now it's morning. For this man, time to rise. Time to start on another day that wouldn't be nearly as pleasant wouldn't be nearly as filled with the possibility of achievement if a large segment of industry hadn't stayed awake while he slept. As he prepares to go to his job, rested and refreshed, he may not give a thought to what makes life so comfortable, so rewarding, and so secure for himself and his fellow Americans. He may not be thinking that the enormous productivity of free enterprise, sparked by industrial leadership and financed by the savings of millions of Americans like himself, make it all possible. But chances are he does realize these things. A man who would not knowingly change the American system for any other on earth. American industry, builder of a better tomorrow, has presented Industry on Parade, a service of the National Association of Manufacturers.